Hi, this is Dinesh from Gatewheel Academy and this is your first lecture in the series of lectures related to strength of materials. We are starting off from strength of materials just because this is the most basic and one of the most important subjects in civil engineering. You need to have knowledge of strength of materials in order to learn RCC design, in order to learn steel structure design in order to learn structural analysis so it's quite important to learn this subject earlier so apart from that it has high weightage in gate exam it comprises of 9 to 10 percent of total gate marks so it's quite high. You need to learn strength of materials to have good score in gate. So moving on, uh, before going to theories of strength of materials, you should first acquaint yourself with basic terms that are used. We shall talk about these two basic terms in this lecture. One is isotropy. The other one is homogeneity so let's first talk about isotropy a material is said to be isotropic if it has same property in every direction so let's take a point here it has E x which is modulus of elasticity in x direction it has E y in y direction and it has E z in z direction so if a material is isotropic then E x should be equal to E y should be equal to E z now if there is another point here it need not be equal to E x it can be E x dash which is not equal to EX it can be EY dash which is not equal to EY and it can have EZ dash which might not be equal to EZ but EX dash must be equal to EY dash must be equal to EZ dash in order to be material to be called isotropic so now let's move on to homogeneity Now, if a material is said to be homogeneous, then material property throughout its volume should be same. But at a point in every direction, it can be different. So if a point, if at a point it has material property EX, EY, EZ, then EX might not be equal to EY, might not be equal to EZ, but at any point throughout its volume, it must have EX in X direction, it must have EY in Y direction, and it must have EZ in Z direction. So, if a material is both isotropic as well as homogeneous then material have same property in every direction and at every point throughout its volume so this is isotropy and homogeneity so a material in most cases in civil engineering and mechanical engineering is assumed to be both isotropic as well as homogeneous so to define a single material parameter for the material so I think now isotropy and homogeneity is clear to you all so we shall meet in the next class till then bye bye